Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to configure your first HMI screen, and we are going to add in two objects. The first one is going to be a commonly used momentary push button, and then the second one is going to be an I.O. field for reading and writing, you know, uh, data, you know, within the PLC. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the project tree. I'm going to expand out my comfort panel, and in the screens area, I will expand out screens, and you'll see that there is a toolbox screen from a previous lesson. So I'm going to double click the toolbox screen and that opens up that screen so I can start doing my development. The toolbox is located by default on the right hand side of your screen. The toolbox is broken up into different areas, basic objects, elements, and controls. The button object is actually located in the elements area. So I'm going to select elements or the button object and I'm going to draw that out onto the screen. The text is highlighted. So what I can do is type in the text automatically, you know, for the lens of my uh, momentary button. The mode determines what's going to be on the lens of the push button. So once I have my text and, you know, the lens configuration set up, what I can do is I can go to the events tab of the button. There are different events that are available. To create a momentary button, I'm going to utilize the press event. In the events area, there's this add function area. If you select this, on the right-hand side, you'll see a drop-down arrow. In this drop-down arrow, you can select you know, from different categories of functions so that when you press this button, you can execute whatever functions you would like. There's an edit bits area, and these are all different functions for setting, resetting bits. One of them happens to be the set bit while key press, so I could select it here. Or, if I know the name of the function that I'm looking for, I can just start typing. So I can say set bit, you know, while, okay, and I can pick the set bit while key press function. So this is going to be a very quick way to create a momentary button. There are two parameters that need to be filled in, tag and bit. Uh, anytime you see pink, that means that there's an incomplete configuration or something that's been configured in air. So I need to actually fill in a tag value. So I'll select the browse button. Then I can browse into my default tag table or any tag table that has already been created. So from a previous lesson, I can see I've got a demo tags tag table, and I'm going to select the bit underscore one tag and select the green uh, checkbox. So this assigns this tag to the momentary button. So for a the bit value here, 0, uh, is the only valid choice when you're working with a Boolean tag because there's only one bit in a you know, binary tag. But if my tag was a 16-bit value, that bit number could be 0 through 15 to pick out which individual bit I want to set and reset. So the, the way that this function works is when you press the momentary button during runtime, when you press it, a 1 will be written to the PLC, and then when you take your finger off the momentary button, a 0 will be written to the, the bit underscore 1 the tag in the PLC. So the momentary button is configured. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to come over to Elements, and I am going to use an I.O. field to display the status of the bit. So if I select I.O. field, and I draw that out onto the screen, then I will select the Properties tab, and then the Properties for the I.O. field. Okay, In the Process area, I've got a tag that I configure, so I can select the Browse button, and I can select the Bit underscore 1 tag. The type, or the mode of operation for the I.O. field, typically it's either going to be input-output, input, meaning that you can write a value, and you can also read a value. There's also a choice of output. If you just want it to be strictly a display, you could pick output. I'm going to pick input-output, and then you've got your display format over here. You know, we're just dealing with a binary number, so it's just going to be 0 or 1. But you do have different you know, data types, or I should say different display formats that you can select. All right. There are a few you know, quick editing features that are available up on the toolbar. So one, maybe I want to change the justification. I want to change the font size, make it a little bit bigger. You know, and then I could also you know, just adjust you know, the size of the I.O. field. So now I have a momentary button. I also have the I.O. field that's configured as well. So I'm going to test my configuration at this point. So I will highlight my comfort panel in the project tree, and I will select the Start Simulation button. This will compile my project, 
and it will start the HMI runtime software. So I will select the toolbox button that takes me to my first screen that I've created. When I press and hold the momentary button, it's going to write a 1 into the PLC one time. When I take my finger off the momentary button, that value is going to be reset back to a 0. So you can see very quickly, made a very quick momentary button. If, as far as the I.O. field goes, if I click on that, it pops up an on-screen keyboard and I could enter in a value and uh, you know, type in 1, press enter. You know, if this was an analog value, you, know, you could enter in obviously a much larger number than 0 or 1. Or <clears throat> click on that field again, press 0, and I can reset that value. So I've d you configured a momentary button and also an I.O. field, two very uh, popular common objects that are used in the Siemens HMI.